cracking facts makes me feel alive. Simo, avert your eyes. If I pull a synchro, I won't lose time to beat all of these roots. I can see you stacking. I can feel you sacking. I am fanning and molding right now. A heartbreaking loss in finals last week, but not a particularly unexpected one. I went back and watched the episode, and while I do feel like I misplayed that match, I don't think it mattered. I think Gavin's deck was legitimately like a 90-10 or better against ours. Well, time to pick it up for our next episode. Another week, another progression playoff, and Duelist Revolution actually doesn't change that much at all. After about 16 really sick 5D sets, we have finally landed on the first one that I think doesn't have anything particularly engaging at low rarity. There's a couple of cards that I'm looking at, uh, but most of the stuff in Duelist Revolution that matters is at the top. It's a hugely top-heavy set, and the high rarity cards are unmatched, some of the best ones in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. So for the first time in a long time, we're going to be paying a lot more attention to what is hard to get than what we are likely to get. So uh, three archetypes uh, get a lot of support in this set. We've got the Scraps, the Naturia, and the Amazonas. Now the Scrap stuff is great, but it's really hard to pull. Uh, you do need some Ultra Rares if you want this to consistently go off. The Naturia stuff is bad. It's just not strong or playable. And the Amazonas stuff is good, provided you find Amazonas Queen, which is a super rare. Likely, but not guaranteed. So let's go through the individual cards. First, we've got Scrap Archfiend. This is a fantastic card, and I hope we pull it. It's just a level 7 uh, that has 2700 attack. Earthquake Giant is a rock, and it's a common, which is potentially good for... Koakai Mairu. That deck has been creeping around the edges of playability, but needs rocks to keep in hand in order to actually take off. Valor is here, but it's an ultra and there's really nothing worth negating just yet. AD Changer potentially does something. Delta Flyer is a really sick synchro enabler, but the synchro payoffs just aren't good enough to warrant playing something like this yet, I don't think. Vlad's in this set in Hypnocorn. Here's some Scrap stuff. Chimera's really good. Of course, anyone who has played with Scrap Raptor knows this. Goblin's strong, Beast is strong, Hunter's strong, and Golem are strong. But those are all rares and supers, and finding three apiece of these is almost guaranteed not to happen. More Watts, not Watt Hopper though, so why would I pay any attention to it? We've got some Nachurias. The only really good one among them is Bamboo Shoot, but that's only strong if... Your opponent is going to be playing monsters that die to a 2,000 attack point monster, and you're able to stick a Nachuria for a turn, which is a big if. The Amazonuses in this set are really good. Trainee and Sage are strong cards, and Queen means they'll never be destroyed by battle. But it's a super. Elephon is a pretty decent tuner. Synchro Fusionist in the TCG enabled one of my favorite combo decks of all time, one that could deck out your opponent if they activated Maxi against you. There's like a sub-theme of unicorns in this set? I, I have never read these cards, and I won't start now. Scrap Dragons in here. Hugely influential synchro, but again, ultra rare. Double Cyclone is one of the only commons I think that we'll see play. Uh, allows you to pop a spell trap you control and one your opponent controls as well. A lot of ways to abuse that. Amazonas Village is a decent enough field spell if you pull Amazonuses. Cursed Armaments is a card that I think is on the cusp of playability. Uh, you equip an opponent's monster with it, and it loses 600 attack for each monster you control. Then when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target a face-up monster your opponent controls, equip it with this card. Ideally, it is a suit of armor that always weakens your opponent's monsters. However... In practice, it's much better as a card that you can use as a combat trick that's telegraphed than pop with double cyclone to switch to a different monster and screw that one up as well. There's a lot you can do here, but unfortunately it has that magic sentence on it, when you can, which means that it probably misses timing constantly and it actually accomplishes very little. Uh, I want to talk about Chain Whirlwind as well. 
Uh, because I think Double Cyclone is going to be so huge, I think Chain Whirlwind will be playable. And whenever a card on the field is destroyed by a card effect, you can pop two spell traps on the field. It's kind of a way to play Heavy Storm Duster, but you have to be losing already. Horn of the Phantom Beast is, of course, very good, but there's not a ton of good beasts or beast warriors. Amazonus Heirloom makes one of your Amazonuses pretty much invincible in terms of battle. Mystic Ref Panel came out in this set, and thankfully I, I don't think anyone is likely to pull it or else we'd have to pull up the uh, list. We've got some Flamvels, which potentially turns on my Flamvel Dog as like a scuffed Shora, but I think that that's not good enough at this stage in the game. We could have always done it with Nitro Synchron if we really wanted to anyway. So all in all, not a particularly exciting set at low rarity, uh, but the stuff at high rarity is unmatched. Again, we're talking Effect Veiler, we're talking Solemn Warning, we're talking Scrap Dragon. Any of these could potentially catapult even the worst deck to the winner's circle. So here's hoping that I pull them. 24 packs of Duelist Revolution, starting now. <gasps> what did I say? The high roll cards are all that matters. Yeah, I'll take that shit. I will take that shit. Let's see what else we got. Ugh. What? When the solemn is warning. Oh yes. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm, this is just a pretty miserable pack. I don't think we're gonna be winning this week, folks. Danny, are you here? Danny, are you here right now in chat? Do not tell anyone I don't even know what I'm looking for none of this is interesting at all oh cool you know scrap beast I can't wait to play that card <laughs> damn I didn't know they put Gavin in here <laughs> I didn't know they put Gavin in this set <laughs> Uh, Amazonas Village is, like, playable. All right, can we get the third one? Hmm. All right, so uh, Amazonas Succession is kind of interesting. Uh, this set is doo-doo. Uh, we got what we needed. Uh, the two Solemn Warning is, of course, insane. It is far and away the best thing that, uh, that we actually have. Uh, but we did pick up as many commons as we want as well. Uh, Double Cyclone is really strong. Cursed Armaments is decent. Uh, it plays really well with Double Cyclone, and as a result, it'll probably see a fair amount of play. Um... But outside of that, almost nothing in here is playable. So uh, we were already building with last week in mind. This hasn't changed any of that. But it means that the trap cards that we were having a little trouble getting playables over our fellow uh, players, we now have a couple of solemn warnings we can slot in. So here's the list. Now, it looks very similar to the list that I played last week, but I think the differences are numerous enough that it warrants another rundown. And... If I give you a rundown, I make more money in ad revenue, so we're going to go ahead and do it. So, if you watched the last episode, you know that for the first time in 5Ds, we are facing formats that are slow. In the past, the blisteringly fast aggro strategies of Psychic and Black Wings have kind of dominated the series. Uh, but now that neither of those are available because of bans and defenders outclassing attackers, we get to play long games. Now, that has good parts and bad parts, and the bad parts are when Gavin blows us out with a Ronin Toten that we're never going to be able to get over no matter how many fish depth charge we're playing because you can't trade a card for a card when that card brings itself back if you normal summon a Swap Frog. Whoa, I was thinking with that one. Uh, but 
we can probably play something a little more proactive than shield worm mill in the wake of the ronin totem ban and that's how i landed on this a lot of the same strategy from last time but with a couple of new inclusions that i think are sick first up of course is solemn warning this card is nuts and it is also not making it out of the week so we have to win we're on three copies of double cyclone as well this is a wonderful addition to the pool i think that it is going to do a lot of good for the format we haven't had unconditional spell trap removal best we could do so far is fairy wind and while we did play it double cyclone has a ton of advantages if you set two of them it combos with itself you can pop both double cyclone and then your opponent's set cards combos with widespread dud target only your opponent's monsters then double cyclone answer is widespread dud it's a quick play you can chain it to the widespread dud and pop maybe your widespread dud in response it's going to absolutely warp the answers we play and it's going to mean that chainable spell traps are at a premium something you can get a little bit of value off after you double cyclone your own or if your card gets double cycloned it's less of a blowout that's why i'm on stuff like book of eclipse aegis of the ocean dragon lord uh three copies of fish depth charge uh double solemn warning of course is not chainable but uh who cares it's solemn warning double widespread dud and this card i'm still not entirely sold on crevice into the different dimension this was really good last week when everyone was on fishborg blaster i still think some people have to play fishborg in their pool just given how their pulls turned out um and i think there are some corner cases where it comes up against decks that are not exactly water as well but uh you know we'll see in terms of the actual monsters, a lot has changed here. We've got, of course, the Undines, the Controller, the Fishborg Blaster to enable the Fish Depth Charge, two Oystermeister. This card matters a ton for reasons I'll get into in a sec. Triple Achelion, double Gardna. Gardna's in a weird position where I do want to be triggering its effect, but its effect almost never triggers because of its really good stat line. Double Naga, I think I probably could go back down to one of these. They're decent to draw, but I really do not want to do so. Double Reptilian Viper, um, I think this is just good as a two-tuner that's potentially searchable. You almost never get its effect off. If you do, it's game winning. So, you know, not terrible. Uh, Triple Medusa, I would play four of this card if I could. Uh, this monster is insane. Um, most people are on a monarch. Uh, the monarch of choice in this format for everyone else has been Armored Axon Kicker. And I think I probably should be playing that as well. Uh, but I elected not to just so I could uh, search all the monarchs that I wanted uh, and potentially not draw them. Not like drawing them is the worst thing ever, though. And of course, we've got a Snowman Eater as well. Now, where this massively differs from our other deck is this double drill sync on one quick draw unfortunately this is the amount of copies we pulled of both of these cards to facilitate drill warrior now if you haven't read this card it stands out among the synchro pool we have banned pretty much every synchro that wins the game on its own we banned goyo and stardust early followed by black rose dragon drill warrior is around that power level have to make it with drill synchron once per turn during your main phase one you can have its attack it can attack directly and then once per turn you can discard a card banish this card during your next standby phase special summon it back so the card that you can add back from the graveyard when it's summoned back is drill synchron and then you can normal the drill synchron and if your drill warrior ever pierces you draw a card it's a way to get like an infinitely recursive advantage engine going that results in a ton of monsters on your side of the field it's sick it also attacks over unbeatable defense position board states uh things like a bunch of monsters you obviously will never get over that all recur themselves um things like flip flop frog set you can just attack directly and then tag out there are just a ton of things you can do with this card that are all game winningly strong um drill synchron is a three tuner it works with a Shellion, it works with oystermeister it works with genx undyne it also works with Snowman Eater, but uh, Oystermeister serves double duty, not only as a three for Drill Synchron, but as a one for Quick Draw Synchron. We can make uh, the Drill Warrior using Quick Draw using that or Naga, uh, two cards that tend to stick around. Uh, this means we can like Fish Depth and Oystermeister draw into a Quick Draw and potentially live the dream and make a Drill Warrior on the crackback. It seems pretty sick. Um, in terms of what everyone else is playing, uh, I've pegged Leah on X Sabers. We were testing a little bit and she seemed really impressed with it. Gavin is, of course, going to be on some sort of Gavin nonsense. Uh, I imagine uh, it'll be like the Copium version of the deck that he was playing last week. Um, I have no idea what Brent and Danny are playing. Uh, Brent's pool is notoriously shallow. He's been playing... Uh, price of progress control for the last three or four weeks and it has not netted any positive results and danny was testing a deck similar to this one with me on stream but just getting his poop pushed in so um i imagine he will have switched decks as well uh, vasky's in his pool i could see him playing reptilian 
all in all, feeling decent about this week. But we are going to have to leverage these solemn warnings now because we are not going to have them next episode. Wow, another week, another episode of Progression Playoffs. Uh, and, um, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm feeling thick. I'm feeling nasty. I'm feeling submissive. I'm feeling breedable. Uh, Jules, put up a picture of a monkey. All right, put up a second, a second picture of a monkey. All right, this time, uh, put up a picture of a uh, third monkey. All right, how's how's everyone doing here tonight? We all we all feeling good? We all feeling loose? I want to be monkey. <laughs> Leave Jules uh, alone. Bullying, <laughs> bullying Jules. Yeah. We we literally uh, begin every single one of these like, hmm. What can we do to Jules today? How can we make her life miserable? <laughs> monkeys. We make her Google five Mon or six pictures of monkeys. Let me get another monkey. Five or six pictures of monkeys and put them in the video. This is what happens to people when they have employees. <laughs> <laughs> did I let Did I let you all know that I, I'm renting out a property as well? I, I thought that that would be. Oh my pretty, god! Yeah, I'm I'm gonna rent out a property. Uh, I knew it. I, I knew it. I real quick. I do want to let you all know. You can all be in on the ground floor of this new uh, this new business venture I'm starting. It's called Herbal Life. If you would all like to, <laughs> uh, Leah Brent, you one of you has to pick rock paper scissors Please, here. We gotta rock. stop this Come bit on, right pick rock. Now. You gotta do it. Please. No more monkeys. Put another monkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you're not doing it. No. <laughs> all right, okay. All right. <sighs> all right so. I honestly forgot that I had to pick one. What, what are you all? What are you all excited to play from this set? There were a lot of cool, interesting archetypes. I thought nothing, nothing, <laughs> literally this set nothing. Is, this is one of the worst sets we've ever opened. It's you know, so for what bad. it's worth, I don't care because I thought last format was so cool. I would love to play it again, with the exception of like Ronan Toten just sitting there. With the it exception is... of exactly Ronin Toten and one for one. Well, one for one. That is going to look a lot different. Yeah, I well, I, it it should. I think that Gavin, you and I, and when I say you and I, I mean you, were the only ones that figured out that like tribute monsters were the play that week. So I expect yeah. this week we'll be seeing a lot more, uh, you know, like actually good cards instead of vanilla two thousand defense monsters. Well, not judging by this board. <laughs> I say, oh, Perfectly yes. Fine. All right. Yes. 1900 beats. Yes. Okay, oh, so my God. We, we labbed this a fair amount. Nice try, dipshit. Ooh. Wow, you brought it. You brought it. Oh, I'm so oh, God, happy. Go. Um, um, damage step. Damage step. Yo! Oh, Holy man. shit! Come on, bro. incredible! Why are you Brent, showering? Brent, how are you sure. so good? How did you get so good at Yu-Gi-Oh? That's simply my question. And now just doesn't reveal for Sam. Oh go! He's revealing. He's so, revealing a bonobo to me. A bonobo. So uh, the Koakai Mairu are a series of really mediocre monsters, but there's like two or three good rock ones. And this set, we finally have enough just random rock bullshit that you can consistently reveal one in your hand like ganogo for instance uh so happy to see this deck finally show up um good luck brent thank you every kwaki Meru's end or every a lot of the kwaki Meru's like end effects you're like whoa what that's crazy anyway i have to uh have to uh find an iron core <laughs> yeah i i think it is pretty fucking upsetting that iron core is worse than a random rock monster like you have to yeah. play this card that does nothing and your payoff is it is worse than just playing additional copies of sandman it's so fucking frustrating why can't you just reveal the iron core we're gonna target sandman with gale yep and then Classic. we're gonna try it out Oh, okay. All right. Ooh, I was so attack. afraid. I was so afraid for my destiny there. 
So there, <laughs> there are a lot of the Koakai Mairu spell traps are uh, just insane. They're like, if you control a Koakai Mairu and have an Iron Core in hand, you win. But because they all yes. say you have an Iron Core, yep. oh. they're not being played. Oh. Solidarity, however, is based oh. as hell. Holy Finally, shit. Finally, somebody playing Solidarity. Yes. This is a no. 2150 Ganogo. No. You're getting Ganogo, buddy. You're getting Ganogo. Oh, You're getting Ganogo, you bonobo. <laughs> All right, uh, changing destiny. Changing destiny. Okay, the okay. good no go. <laughs> um. Yeah, uh, I'll gain some life points. I'll gain what is that? Ten twenty-five? No. Oh, yeah. No. Ten seventy? No. no. Wait. Man. He's a, <laughs> so he's a twenty-one fifty. So half of that is, I believe, ten seventy-five. Yeah. Wow. No. No. Eleven seventy-five. Leah, math. you majored in math, correct? Wait, no, it's not 1175, because 11 times 2 is 22. Oh, my God. Oh. Put up <laughs> another Are we monkey. All the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> how much? Monkey. Another <laughs> monkey. How much is this? One, one oh, my five. God. It's 1075. <laughs> it is? Really? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you guys all doubted me. I, I, <laughs> please. Sold to the black wing with the little oh, green puff God. on his head. Uh, thank God we finally have 25s back in the game. Yeah, I was really feeling like something I, I was missed, missing. I missed them ever since plant format. Yeah. yeah. I've actually, I didn't oh, want right. to say nothing, but I've really been phoning it in ever since we stopped getting 25s in the format. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now I have some interesting decisions to make. Yeah, how do you deal with bonobo bonobo well so uh okay Gale... so the question really is not how do you deal with bonobo oh, i think it's a big question gail can just clear it which is far from the worst Sorry. thing that could happen leah is talking a through situation. attacking a defense position monster i can't believe this <laughs> it's, it's hasn't changed since day one all right we're gonna we're gonna target the ganogo with the uh, gale effect all right, and then we are defense. just going to attack it. Yep. So Gale goes face down. Yes, that is correct. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so this is what I was. This is what I was it's playing like around. Logo. Was all all tribute axon kicker. Here. Ah, Ooh. gotcha. Yeah. Right. If you ask me, huh. it's more like axon dicker. God. Banger. Right. Banger. So um. Axon Kicker is probably one of the better Monarchs in the format. It's also a common, so most people have a lot of copies of him, but not all. Uh, Koakai Mairu Prototype, okay. however, is a rare, and it's fucking bonkers. Uh-oh. What's happening? Are you going to change Destiny again? No, it's... It's kind of terrible, you gotta but dud. I'm going to double Cyclone here, targeting my thing and Solidarity. Oh, that's not terrible at all. That's, that's crazy. Good. Mm. That's good as hell. Pretty good. This does kill my dud. Um, oh. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. No. I do take 900 and get the effect. Pashul. Get me my boy Pashul. He's back. Excellent kicker. Uh, I've denied this card for so long, but it's such a bonkers card. So dumb. Gavin's pilled me on it. I'm sorry, team. It's just so good. Yeah. We're all kicker pilled by the end of this. Yeah. We'll, well set I would one. Not, I would not be surprised if kicker gets banned. Literally. Yeah, me neither. Uh, Especially we'll like this. We'll attack fairy hole golem, fairy ring, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So I take nothing and I summon nothing. Good day, yeah. sir. Go ahead. Uh, I it, take a thousand from Pashul. Axon Kicker just gets so much better with Pashul in the format. It's just unthinkable. It's crazy. Yeah, you can even use this to make an eight sometimes if you want. Fishborg, Pashul. There's a bunch of cards you can grab. Big dogs. piece of <gasps> shit. This is Palomara. Oh, no. <laughs> it can't do anything, but still. Scary. So why would Brent play a big piece of shit with Axon Kicker already on field? It must it does make you be wonder. remarked. <laughs> it must Stinky. Needs, it must needs be remarked. Yeah. Uh we will 
go to the battle phase, I guess, and we'll back into the golem. Hmm. Uh, I can get Pelarmaro here, and I will. I take 1050. Yep. In main two, it... I'll set this. And then I guess, go ahead, I'll take 1000 from Pashul. Is this like a burn plan? Yeah, I'm I'm a little confused too, but a burden plan would be sick. Uh, it just takes a couple of eclipses to get us out of this one. One of the crazy things about Axon Kicker is a lot of the high attack tribute monsters in 5Ds have really low defense. Kicker's 1800 defense actually makes it way harder to out it with Book of Eclipse. Uh, yeah. Unless you're playing exactly this deck that Brent is playing, I guess, but still. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Gotta check. If oh we have no! Any I know where this is going. Oh no! We have the same end. Okay. Oh okay. So I have to think for a moment here in my end step. Okay. This is uh. This is. All right, let's uh, go to the battle phase, I guess, and attack with uh, Kicker. Leah, you're losing a lot of life points. I am losing a lot of life points. <laughs> <laughs> so what is that? That's 10, or no, that's 950. Yeah. Oh, in fact, Nine? Axon Kicker is not optional. I just assumed it was. Correct. The special mm -hmm. summon actually is optional, but the damage is right. not. <laughs> so, I, I mean, my life yeah. points hilariously are somehow getting really low here. So I guess I'll go into um, just get rid of both of the things that are costing me life. And Peshul is an Earth. So this has to be... Goyo. Oh, oh wow. This is oh, so yeah. stupid. It can't be oh. Red Dragon Archfiend. Unfortunately, I have another eight. What Whoa. is this? Let's go. <laughs> Leah, this <laughs> is the worst card I've ever read in my life. <laughs> Well, I'm going to die if I keep Kicker on the field. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> but Pashul will kill you. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... I need to get the Pashul off the board. <laughs> like... Not summoning know. Crimson. Baby. Your baby. <laughs> well, RDA would blow up my Palmeras. So... Oh, no. Palmero in the graveyard. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, God. Wow! I mean, okay, just... he doesn't even have a guy anyway. Look. Yep. Hey, let's go. Guardian, let's go. And running Koakai. Uh, you're really kicking my rocks if you catch my drift. <laughs> <laughs> you're really kicking my dick off. <laughs> Leah, does uh, your car take diesel? No. Why? Well, maybe your deck would run better if you put diesel nuts in your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Not good. Not a good one. Yikes. Okay. That was awesome. Um, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I got you, Brent. Let's summon Tuned of Magician. I've been watching too much Ludwig, as you can see. <laughs> no, not my destiny. Oh, get destiny. Come on. You can gain all I'm those gaining life some points life back. points. Yeah. Yeah. Gain gain some life points. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Great destiny. Um, well, I mean, go uh Don't have a... Yeah, go ahead. Did you check the to Sandman? make sure you have a 12? <laughs> Going places. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was thinking, like, do I have a... Do I have this, something This Sandman kind of do be going places, not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's, go oh, oh, he's oh, fucking going places. Okay. He's going places. He's huge. Damage step? No. Oh, how are you oh. still on this? <laughs> Leah, it's 2021. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't find on. it at all. <laughs> That's you, what I Can Brent. you put a counter on it so I can remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get or, 13 yeah. counters? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll yeah, put yeah. a counter on it. So he's a 31. Yep. 
the fuck am I supposed to remember that? Uh, okay. I'm going to... If you put 31 counters yeah, on it, Yeah, I was going to say, will... see, that would help. <laughs> uh, but, shut up. Um, well, attacking with the 31 is pretty dang good. Can I... <laughs> I love this. This is awesome. Leo, just like a board state of, okay, so we have a 2400 attack monster, a 3100 attack monster. Hmm, can we, uh, should I attack? Raggy? Is Raggy Gura oh fine? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Pashul. Okay, I'm gonna special Faltrel. Oh, there it is. No. Oh, the Folks, we found the band target. 31. I don't know about that. I think oh is crazy. God. 24. 2 and 2. Second oh. main, RDA. Uh, it very well may be. Shut up. Coaching. Coaching. No, listen, I was thinking oh. about making a guy do this shit. <laughs> yeah, Shut listen, up. I'm just speeding just the wanted... process up about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? I just wanted to hear you say dipshits. That's all. Uh, we'll attack the face down Sandman. I think we know it's Oh, guarding, I hate right? this. I, I hate this. Eclipse for five. Yes! Let's fucking go. <laughs> for five. El Clasico. So, uh, oh my God. so that negates the battle phase. I'll set this. I'll end my turn, flip everything up, and draw five. Uh, Raggy doesn't trigger because it wasn't flip. It was flip summoned. You sure you don't want to flip some of those four dudes back to attack position before the end phase? Mm. I I don't think she does. I, I think no. I, yeah. Sorry, Brent. But it's not but looking it's good fine. for our heroes. Okay, okay what is Brent's fine. set card? I am literally at a loss. I gotta know. It's been there for a while. Okay. I right, put uh... Fall Troll in the dumpster, where, where they belong. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the right target. There's no other lights here. And Faltro can just get stuff back eventually. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Giga Rock. Omega. Okay. In, in the end phase, I'm activating Reinforced Truth. Oh, oh my God. God. special uh, dude, Jute Fighter. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, you gotta be kidding God. me. Are you? No, <laughs> this is. Not, I'm not gonna lose. We're gonna, no, we're gonna change no, him to defense no, position. No, 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 I'm not doing this. Give me out. All right, Danny, are you ready to get clapped between my mighty cheeks? Oh God. Are you ready to get no. slapped between my mighty sleeks? Yeah, I'm are you, ready. Are you ready to get Just fucked? To, it's 4 p.m. I'm ready for my ass clapping. Okay, so I actually think you've got this one. Uh, I don't I actually. Don't my my deck that. is not nearly as sick as it was last time. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll right, see. You'll this. you'll be surprised to see what Woo! I'm playing. Oh my god! I knew it in my head. I'm like, I'm gonna pick rock. He's gonna pick paper. Did you roll again for it? I did roll. The I did roll. Dice? Nice. Do, 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 do. That makes me feel a little better. Do, do, Danny, do, do, you better do, do, not do, get do, beat do. by Amogus. <laughs> All right. I, I might. So let's just start it off easy. Uh, Gen X Undyne. Oh, boy. Yeah. Why yeah. Not I mean, we got three different decks. Sure. Three different decks, sure. at least. No big deal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh my God. You're fine. Stop being an asshole. I'm, I'm, I'm a do I'm Go, doom you little puss. You little peachy <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> a little aggressive. Oh my God. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our ass cheeks. <laughs> boop -a -beep -a boop boop I'm Jules. <laughs> Jules, I'm begging you to clean this one up. What do you, what do you no. think she's gonna do? <laughs> what 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 could she do uh, to edit, fix this? Edit you edit you out of the show. <laughs> Take Danny. my froggy. Okay. You've been duped. Why You've are we out duped. here playing dupe frog? Come on. Get real. It's a good card. 
the virgin water mirrors versus the Chad, whatever was happening in Brent and I's game. <laughs> Chad Kawaki mirrors. I mean, I don't give a fuck uh -oh. about a water mirror. I give a fuck about frogs. You having, a, you having a little issue? Hard to beat. Yeah, DB's not. There we go. What a good platform. You know, I'm really so, happy that this is the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> is Gen X Undyne wearing a hat? Uh, well, wait, wait, no, that's, wait. that's her head. So. That's her head. I saw no, that. I, no, I saw I, that. Shit, what are you talking about? I saw that. No, no, I no. saw that. I'm setting that. <laughs> I, no, no, no. I, I I'm setting that. it. What are you talking? I'm setting I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Oh, you tried to sneak that one by. Oh, you're a little <laughs> sneaky boy. I'm going to copy your play. I liked it so much. I'm going to copy it. Oh, no, you're not. Holy yeah. fuck. <laughs> okay, cut. no, dude. No way, dude. Get him out of here. You're you're really going to do this. Yeah, yeah, come on. Get it out of here. <laughs> sure. Holy Ooh. fuck, solemn warning. I oh. have to say, this set sucks ass at low rarities, but there are three crazy good pulls at high rarities. Oh, yeah. And this is probably the strongest of the three, honestly. We've been playing the selection every week, and this is... Pretty much strictly better. All right, we're going to go Medusa here. Combat, I'm going to walk over the frog. Uh, that's fine. What's this Medusa's destiny looking like? Okay. Get your big um, get your big um, get your big um, get your big um, flip flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, he's playing flip flop. So without Ronin Toad, and the question is like, is this is this like frog narc that like is trying to tribute or is it trying to get some other value from the frogs remains to be seen well we've seen half of a frog and half of a oh well i know i guess dan we know that danny is playing genix undyne never mind well yeah they're both playing undyne to try to do fish porg bananigans mm -hmm. but we don't know like, Joe looks to apparently be playing the same list as last week with Solemn Morning, which I gotta say, pretty good. <laughs> I will I will just let you in on a bit of information. It is not the same list. Ooh la la. We're just gonna set another card. Sure. Uh, end step, I'm going to double Cyclone, targeting this card and the one uh, under my set card. That's fine. I'm going to chain double cyclone, targeting double cyclone in this card. Sure. Ooh. So you're oh. Sending... oh. So I know this set card is flip flop frog. What's the defense of flip flop frog? Uh, 200, I'll just tell you. 200. Yeah, it's mm. a 400, 200. That's interesting. And what's the attack of Fishborg Blaster? It's a 100. <laughs> Damn, shit. That's also interesting. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Fishborg is a 200, though, if you inverse universe. True. That is true. Now we're thinking. I guess I will go to combat. Uh, sure. Let me normal summon Gen X controller here. Sure. Dude, we're just we're just making misplays all around, huh? No, no, no. This is this is um, this. Uh, 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 yeah, shut just... the fuck up. <laughs> all right. Uh, we'll go Medusa into the set card. Blaster. It's Blaster. And then Gen X Controller Direct. Okay, that's not what I expected. I kind of thought it would be Flip Flop Frog. Huh. Well, all right, go ahead. This either means Danny drew his Garnet Fishborg or was playing multiples when he played the Undyne. I'd imagine you play multiples, right? I mean, I am. Depends on how you're trying to use Fishborg, I would think. Man, double cyclone, double cyclone together is just two MSTs. Yeah. We have spell trap removal, folks. Yeah. All right, this plays a little funky donkey, but I think I have to do it. Sure. Whoa. Sorry about that. Activating Cyclone during the situation that Joe did, where you only control one face-up attack, where there's only one face-up attack position monster, is so interesting since right, you that's have, it's, like a it's method play of around playing dud. around dud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not afraid of double Cyclone. 
it truly was a double cyclone if you think about it. Wow, that's poignant. We're gonna send flip flop to special Borg. Still with you. You need to control a water monster to send ah, a Borg yes, that yes, way. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. That happened at some point last episode. <laughs> yep, yep. Somebody did bet. that. It was probably me. Probably. Uh, I think it was. Yeah. I live <laughs> to cheat. <laughs> clearly. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> you're you're going at it. Uh <laughs> so annoying. He's repositioning for the infit. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite form of cheating since it I, it technically is. Do 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 do. Debris okay? dragon. Okay, you gonna solemn warning me again? Oh, so you can't. Yeah or nay? Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. You can okay. search if you use this as material. Just so you know. That's fine. No, I oh I know. Okay, you don't right, think I right. play plants? Hey, that's no big deal to me, baby. Oh, we are making. We are just making iron. Okay. The only one I can make. Uh, it is oh, a dragon. I see the problem. Uh, this is going to kill you. Right. Okay. Oh, my God. Sure. Sure. Double solemn warning. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> yeah. What Very the fun. Fuck? Awesome. Well, go ahead. So Danny's not dead, but I'm... No, he's not. Uh, in fact, I'm not even remotely close to killing him. I just wanted to show it off. Great. All right. Uh, I mean, you clearly. I mean, it's a decent time to fire it. Certainly worth it. Yeah. Let's go, Danny. <laughs> yeah, Danny. Let's go. Thank let's you. go, yeah. Danny. It's, it's going all right, I guess. You're at that fighting game tournament. Somebody's getting their ass handed to them. And people are like, "Let's go, Danny." Uh, it's all morning. Yeah. I can't believe it. Holy shit! It's pretty sick. Huh. Th that's I spent, I spent all of my I spent all of my ultra rares pulling eunuch tricorn. Well, you know, the good news is this. Uh for the past six episodes I haven't pulled a single card that's good. I don't I have... think tri Okay. Do you... Oh, it's a dud telegraph. Sure. I don't think tricorn is a eunuch. Uh, I'll normal a Shelly on. Sure. Combat will go Medusa. We'll inverse universe. Okay. Oh, that's even better. I didn't want to say anything, but I was like, "All right, um, this is inverse universe." Hmm. I'll chain Dud. Isn't this in the damage step? No. Is it in the damage step? <laughs> it's yeah. Not. I mean. The card doesn't inverse increase. universe can't activate no. during the damage step. Yeah. What? It increases your attack. No. Oh, it doesn't. Shut up. Whatever. It's switches. okay. All right, yeah, so I'm taking fun. twelve here. Yeah. And then we're losing these. Uh, and the then you're taking twelve hundred and an eight hundred. Uh, yeah. Do you get dupe frog for this? You cannot. I get don't know. Frog. Why not? He was destroyed. Oh, because it dud. Well, no, like, no, you get no. yeah, you you get the dupe effect. You just uh, oh, well, yeah, uh, you just can't search dupe frog. You just can't. I'm sorry, I sure, just sure. I misunderstood the. Yeah, yeah. I should have sure, done sure. that easier. Go ahead. Sure. So Oshelion may be out, but he's certainly not guaranteeing Danny's occupational health and safety. Shut, shut up. Shut. <laughs> This is the same joke we've been doing for three weeks. I just like this joke. I think it's very funny. <laughs> well, and we're going to normal flip-flop. No response. Okay. We're going to discard Kicker. Sure. For Ooh, board. Kicker stuck in hand. Dang. That's, that's a sticker. Set flip-flop. Or walling up, I see. Yeah. Go ahead. Stand by main. Yep. Time to show off the cool part of my deck. Mm. I roll. I'm going to normal summon Drill Synchron. 
Let's go. Oh, no <laughs> response. No, no response. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'm going to activate Drill, Drill Warrior's effect. Warrior. Which effect? <laughs> to, to attack directly. Okay, we're going to fish stuff charge it. Oh, you Ooh, son of a gun. Let's go. That's so unfucking cool. Uh, thinking. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I mean, you activated charge, right? So the, the Borg is gone no matter what. Hmm. I'll just ask, what does that target mean? Uh. What? what? Isn't it the target that you targeted? Destroy that target. If, let's say, hypothetically, I have a card that would change Drill Warrior to face down defense position, would it still be that target? Yes, because it Thank targets you. any monster. It targets any card on the field, including face downs. Well, the the important thing I'm, I'm wondering about is that target. It's still the same target? Still the same target, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, that's fine. What could this hypothetical face down and in card be, I wonder? Yeah, I wonder too. Okay, this one's Flip Flop Frog. Just have to decide mm -hmm. if I'm flipping Gen X or not. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's Gen X controller. Sure. Uh, I'm going to set one. You are good to go. That was actually surprisingly low here. Yeah, no, it turns out uh, Double Solemn Warning puts you super low. I've played this one yeah. pretty fast and lose, too. I definitely did not take it as seriously as I should have. Yeah, I wonder what weird. these face downs are that have never come up. It's much closer than Double Solemn Warning would, uh, would indicate, have, yeah. I, I mean, you got to go for the Drill Warrior there. Like, Drill Warrior's so good if, you ever, if it so ever good. sticks. I don't know. I mean, I think knowing that Danny probably was playing three Fishborg earlier due to the Gen X Undyne play made it clear that he was probably playing Charge, but... Uh, I imagine you'll be about... popping Controller. Uh, yeah, we'll pop <laughs> Thinking about popping Snowman. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Well... This is okay. Uh, I, we're just going to set and set. Go ahead. This is uh, rapidly getting out of my ability to win. Uh, I'm going to set. You're good. Sure. Ooh. Kind of tense. Ooh. Could that card be... We're in no rush. Uh, we will do this now, barring some weird stuff. Uh, I have to think. Yeah. All right, we will do this now. Uh, we're going to give you your comeuppance and activate double cyclone, and then we'll chain our other double cyclone targeting our cyclone. Um, okay. Is that okay? I'm going to chain Aegis of the Ocean Dragon Lord. Sure. Uh, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, it's flip-flop. Sure. Okay. We are not going to the battle phase. I cannot risk attacking this thing. Oh, yeah. Like, if that's like a 2k defender, you just die. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> um, set a card. Did I summon? No, right? No, you haven't. Sparks are flying in this heated battle. <laughs> they, they really are. Indeed they are. Indeed they are. Come on, dude. Pokemon Coliseum? Come no, on. we all I got mean, the joke. Like, uh, I also <laughs> called it Coliseum instead of Stadium. Dipshit. Yeah, go ahead. One's going deep. Uh, I'm going to normal a Shellion. 
That's fine. Attacking the flip flop. Uh, that's fine. We'll let it go through. Sure. We'll do. We'll do Oshalon. Sure. Second main set one. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. I feel like we had a lot of action early and both of the decks have kind of run out of gas and just spaghettied into the last couple of tiny dipshits to try and win. I don't think Anabork. it had... And, uh... Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. We'll try and attack this. This guy? Yeah. Okay, so Danny would have died before <laughs> if he tried. Died died if he tried. And that actually puts him out of range of Pandaborg as well. Panda. Go ahead. Oh, jeez. You would tell me if the set card was a dupe frog, right? <laughs> you, you would tell me? Oh, I would tell you. Okay, well, if you would tell me. Gotta be the third dupe frog. I'm yeah. gonna try for Fishborg. I'm gonna drop the Ashelion. Hey. I just now remembered that I had Fishborg, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, you can't do that. Uh, yeah, you actually uh, do. Level oh, three. level three. Oh, okay. three, 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 three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we Dang, have to do it I in, was uh... gonna... I was yeah, going to do it in something. a different way. I was going to yeah. say something in a few turns sure, so sure, we sure. would have a broken game. Sure, screen. sure. <laughs> oh. Gavin's like mac and like <laughs> you have like machinations about ruining the game state irreparably and then pointing it out. I Gavin. actually don't think I can target or go for the set one here because if it's dupe frog, I take six. I go to seven. You go to nine, bro. Yeah, nah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Thunder. I am on the edge of my seat right now. I I really am. This is uh this is one for the record books. I don't think we've played a game this long since uh in quite a while. Okay, I think I've got to play here. Sure. We're gonna book of eclipse. Oh, interesting. Ooh. Why are we eclipsing? Okay. I like want to commentate because there's so much interesting stuff happening, but I feel mm. like I, I, I don't want to accidentally say a play that somebody's not seeing. Yeah, Leah, you keep your mouth shut. No, I know, I know. I'm trying <laughs> really hard to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> We have Debris Dragon. Sure. What are you trying to get back here? Uh, I don't think it matters too much. We'll grab Dupe. Uh, you will not. Water, Ooh. I'll take the Dupe you targeted in the Fishborg. Sure. Uh. Still on crevice. Travis, man. This card is such a beating in in like exactly in certain matchups. Debris still a four star. <laughs> man, that changes things a lot here. So it's it's this weird position where because you eclipsed at the start of the turn, you can't use Snowman as part of the synchro because it'll pop something on your side of the field. Yeah. Yeah, like resetting this the Snowman with the clips is game. so good. Fuck! I know, yeah. I hate this so much. Whoever whoever loses this, like, certainly has right to be frustrated. But man, this is a good one. This is a good one. Mm. 
yeah, I we we've seen it in testing a couple of times where like Book of Eclipse to reset your own snowman eater has come up and it's been so good every time. But I don't think it's come up in the reverse. Uh in in actual episodes that much. And it is weird because it sets their stuff to like the best case scenario is like you have a guy in Snowman Eater, they have a guy, you book of eclipse, flip up your other guy, clear their dude, and then now you have a snowman eater ready to go. Right. So this is not the optimal situation for it. Kind of a weird place to be in though since danny doesn't want to just gift you three cards flip summon pandaborg sure this one's krebins krebins uh. this is four five six seven eight nine ten sure yeah the most awkward synchroing of my life no, I don't think you can. You would have to do well, a, it's, an it's eight two, and a two. It's, yeah, no, it's I two, can't. It's two tuners, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say if Danny had Red Dragon Archfiend, that would be something. But you can't even do Debris Dragon plus Panda Borg because the other Synchro can't be a level four. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think we have to do this. Ah, no, that doesn't work either. Oh my god, everything sucks. Okay, we'll go to battle here. We'll attack the Oshalon. Uh with with uh I guess the debris, whatever. Mm. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh I'll trigger Oshalon. Okay. Yeah. Boy You're Naga is just... so good on this board. But oh, it's also yeah. so bad on this floor. <laughs> of this course it's total. so bad. What the fuck do you mean? It's <laughs> terrible. I'm going to get Viper. Sure. Ooh, interesting. Ardna gets you any reptilian. Are you playing two Medusa? That's the thing I'm wondering. I'm going to put you on no. And attack Pandaborg into Gardna. Prevent draw. Okay. Uh, I have to pray this is not like a 2k defender. This has to be not the third Gardna. If it's the third Gardna, well, we tried. Uh, depth charge. Ish depth charge. Targeting? Okay. Panda Borg. Yeah. All right. This is, uh, I, I figured since Joe went through the effort of bringing out the fish Borg here that he had this. Yeah. And that is pretty good. I guess we're done. Uh, yeah. We'll go to end phase. And flip up, or no, I don't flip for right, my just book. Me. Right, right, just you. Yeah, you're good. Stand by main, normal yeah. viper, make a six, and then we'll attack the debris dragon. Yeah, you got it. Holy guac or Jesus. Uh, I had to kill it. I had to flip oh. it up. Oh. Oh. You don't have a, you don't have a seven. You can go into right, Danny. No, I can. I just, it's debris. There's no way to. Well, no, I mean, you, there, you to... can't go into. Yeah, you couldn't. I don't flip have up. a seven dragon. Yeah. There's no seven dragon that oh, exists. Oh, that's yeah. so tough. Dude. Should I flip this? Ah, oh, fuck. No, I mean, and then you were dead. To there were, there's yeah. so many ways to be dead. What did you, what would yeah. you have gotten off guard now? Uh, I, I am, well, I don't want to talk to you about it, but uh, I think anyone oh, can sure, pretty sure, much sure. figure this out. Uh, I do have the other Medusa. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh my god. Oh. All right, Gavin. Well, you know, we're trying to pull a Simo here and reach a two hour episode. Can we do it? I am I haven't even played yet and I'm already sweaty. <laughs> That's true always before you play. Gavin, I, I am shocked. Like a... I am shocked every week 
you show up with a smaller and smaller extra deck. How are you doing? You had three cards last time. Did you trade them? What happened? I just... I refuse to put I refuse to put cards in my extra deck that I can't summon. Spoken like someone who never played while Pot of Prosperity has been legal. Hiding information. Relevant, it's a relevant piece of. You would, like, of course you would play. Ah, <laughs> oh, cards. But in your extra deck. Gavin, just think. Now I know you can only make two different synchros. Damn. That's actually I... important! <laughs> Wait, that's hugely influential! No, no, no. Gavin, Gavin is playing around that one tribute guy that damages you for each card in your extra deck. The one that's not I'm legal? Sure. Oh, is that guy from GX? Yes. Oh, His name's man. like John Fuxton. We were playing oh. uh, Fortune Lady Earth. If there was a tribute guy, you would know about it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Um, face down cards. Here is Axon Kicker. Awesome. This card is getting the boot. I'm going to go into the files and delete it. Nope. Um, this is Garna. Yes! A all right, man all right, of all culture. right. Effect of Gardner. We're so going. So, do, does this mean Gavin is on not some weird mole, mill nonsense? I wonder. Not necessarily. <laughs> Naga's a Naga? really great way to yeah. uh, stonewall everything. <laughs> uh, that has zero attack, right? So I don't. Just checking mm. if you can viper it. Well, no, I'm I'm checking if I could get my pastoral back, but yeah. No. Go ahead. Zero attack. Yeah, yeah, no, you can't. Yeah, get yeah. That. Gardner lines up so well against exactly Axon Kicker. It's just like so <laughs> sick to be like, oh, wow, you actually destroyed it. Yeah, I'll just go get my Gardner, get my Naga, and uh, enjoy your zero attack monster. I wonder how I beat this thing face down, Naga. <laughs> Scraping the extra. You could wait for Gavin to flip summon it and then solemn. Oh yeah, that's it's really good. That's, that's definitely gonna do it. Yeah. Man, I don't even want to commit more because I'm afraid that there's like Vasky in my future, somehow. I think we know Gavin doesn't have Vasky. Well, I guess you could. I have never played it, and so we all know it's a mystery. You either don't have Vasky or you're trolling. We'll set this one, and I think I'm actually just going to pass it back, honestly. Baby. Mm -hmm. All right, in the end phase here, we're going to reinforce truth. Sure. I am going to go get... Um, having another... Having another pastoral around is never the worst. <clears throat> Ass shul. Well said. Well said. Thanks. Uh, so this is at least a guy that I can just like attack into the Naga with. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, attack what I'm assuming is Naga. Okay. Now, is this other card Naga? I wonder. If Gavin has two Are Nagas, Are there any then... other Nagas I should know about? <laughs> yeah, if Gavin has two Nagas, then, I don't know. He, he's cracked. What can I say? Uh, feel like I have to try to do something here. So let's hit it. Okay. I'll use the effect. Yep. Wow. Um, let me think about this for a second. Any reptilian? Okay. Um, hmm, this is kind of tricky. Okay. All right. So that gives me my cue to get rid of this zero attack guy if I can, which I would like to do. 
we are going to bring out Toon Magician here. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to synchro off these two to make uh, explosive. Okay. I'll pass back. Um, I can't just let you have the Vasky, you know. This Nog is an attack, yeah. Go to attack. I'll try to get in on kicker. That's fine. You take 22. Um, uh, so... And then anything yeah. in them too. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is... Uh, we'll send him. Sure. Vasky is so fucking strong. Oh my god. I'll just... I'll dud here on the Vasky. Yeah, I'm going to chain uh, Fairy Wind to the activation. Fairy Jeez. Still on Fairy Wind. God, that's sick. Okay. Um, I figured Gavin has not used these spells. They have to be like something that removes something. All right, uh, Book of Eclipse. This does kill Vasky, you know? That's that's how it is. Garson. Go ahead. Ooh, Garson pass. Powerful. Turn. Mm. Oh, oh, well, you know, <laughs> it might actually be very powerful. Uh, he doesn't have a psychic in his graveyard, so he's not gonna like revive Master Gig, which is like what Gavin has trained me to be. The classic terrified. Gavin play. The, yeah, like the classic Gavin play. We're gonna set this one. Uh, well, I hate it, but I'm gonna attribute this kicker. Whoa. Have to try to use it at least. Okay. Uh, we're getting there slowly. I don't know. Like, I wanted to hold it because Gavin, I'm sure, has so much in his hand. <sighs> so, there's a decent chance that that is just Naga. Here's Jet Fighter. Whoa. Uh, we will attack it. Viper okay, and defense. And we'll attack again for 22. We'll set another one. Go ahead. I punted into this one into the next dimension. I cannot possibly be angrier about this game. Oh, um, I really, wow. I really, oh, what? I really, what? really fucked up on the Vasky ad. It should have been ad Naga. I would have been in the whole fucking game. I'm, Damn. I'm, I, I just don't. Well, Leah, like a, champ, like a, champ. a recurring scenario. Uh, we we got to stop meeting like this. I honestly was like 100% sure I was not making it out of that one. Yeah. Uh, you know, no offense to you personally. Uh, me too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> me too. Uh, I wasn't sure I was making it out of the fucking Danny game, uh, but I got R carried slash, by my I broken I shouldn't cards. be alive. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, here we are, I guess uh x savers baby well it's unfortunate i like this format a lot everyone in this call is the maddest i've ever seen them and uh yeah. i i think it's all i think it's all justified if i'm being real it's been a tough week it's been a tough week son of a bitch that's fine <laughs> this okay, game is well, going now back out. now it's the now it's the maddest that you've ever now seen. it's the maddest the maddest <laughs> we've reached peak yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. fuck me all right the only thing that makes me happy is Invincible's giant fucking ass ass cheeks. Ba, 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 ba. Is his name? I haven't seen the show. Is his name? I mean, Invincible? his name's not no, Invincible. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. This is no like spoilers. A, this guy's name this is, is like Mr. A, Invincible. It's not a spoil. This is like a Metroid situation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is he, this, this is, is the name Invincible. of this character is Omni Man. So okay. just so people don't roast the shit out of me, the, he's. I meant Omni Man. I said Invincible. But in the first episode, it's revealed that Omni Man, in fact, is not like the stand-up like uh, Clark Kent person you think it is. He's a man named Mister Invincible, and his power is he's shut invincible. Up, shut, up, and, shut up! Shut up! And he keeps drawing Pot of Greed and going, "Think that I'm invincible." <laughs>
into graceful charity. That's a clap of his ass cheek. All Can right, you take your turn? Uh, here's full helm knight. Cool. Oh. <laughs> let me show you. Let me show you what I'm working with, bitch. Whoa, my guy beats that guy. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, sure he does. <laughs> you are correct. Ba -ba 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 you know, if what the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. I'm, I'm deciding if I want to set all these. Uh, okay. You know, unfortunately, sure. I I think I do. Go ahead. All right. Uh, I mean, I am going to. So what did we see in the Danny game? We saw Fish Death Everything. Charge, but you don't have Blaster out. Mm -hmm. I don't think we saw Changing Destiny, but I'm sure you're on it. No, there's no, like baby. Some, no, no, no. There's some there's Double Cyclone no Bananigans. You probably have opened the, the warning, but I'm just going to make you have it. Uh, Palomero? Is this okay? This is two tuners, idiot. Yeah, that's fine. Faltrel? Oh, my God. Uh -oh. uh, that's also fine. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, we'll go to the battle phase and we'll attack Undyne with Full Helm. Uh, widespread dud. I'm going to target Full Helm and Fall Troll. Oh, I can't. Oh, shit. I can't. All right. I'm going to target Undyne and, uh, Fall Troll, I think. Well, am I even doing that? God, this is bad. Fuck. Oh, because I yeah. don't control a Speller Trap. Let's go. <laughs> no, you're, you're cracked. <laughs> you're cracked, Leah. Just don't play spells. Uh, yeah, seriously. <laughs> So, mm. so what are the targets? Well, now I don't want to target anything. <laughs> Do you just want to let your guy die? That's fine by me. No, uh, I'm going to dud targeting Undyne and Fall Troll, I believe. That is correct. Yes, I'll that's take, the correct. I'll take 100 here. Yep. Um, There's something to be said maybe about Fall Troll in main too, but I mean, you know, come on. He's so good. Yeah. Uh, we'll attack with Palomar. Sure. Main two. You've already used Dud. I'll set this. Go ahead. Controller. Sure. I don't know. I guess I'll attack fucking Palomaro like it matters. Have to think about Full Helm Knight here. Oh my god. Think about Full Helm Knight. Unreal. Wait, I forgot how Raji, Ragi Gura works. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes, Ragi can recur Faltrel. Yeah, that's yeah. I was like, oh yeah, my it's, god. It's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're done, Leah. I'm putting you in the dumpster. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll let Paul and I die. Sure. Take 12. I'm winning. I I, I, I'm winning. I did take 12. <laughs> uh, okay. Full back row. Mm -hmm. Which had some don't nice. worry, Leah. It's I, a bunch of useless cards. It actually is. Don't do you anything. have a spell trap now? Like it matters. We'll book here. Is what? this okay? Get booked. Yeah, that's fine. You're looking like a book. I'll flip up my full home night. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go to attack. Yeah, sure. I'll just well, set this. Okay. Could be anything. Oh, uh, I wow. need. Wow. Uh, I need some monsters. <laughs> I'm playing. Is, I'm playing I'm 25 for. monsters in my deck. <laughs> so far, I found two. Oh yeah, this is what I love to watch. Is the it? Draws seven spells and traps. I, I, I don't even great. want to summon another guy. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna I, fucking I literally feel Leah. like summoning it. No, I literally mm. feel like you'll widespread dud and kill both. Yeah, 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 true. All right, I'll take 13. Just set it. Forehead. Forehead. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't do anything either, dog. Mm. Uh, go ahead. Oh, my God. Yes. I'm fuming. Go ahead. I mean, that's shut hard, up, man. white boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair there's no way the block matters right 
Uh, here's another 13. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay, well, at least it's a fucking monster. Okay. Uh, Paul Helm Knight beat down for the win. Uh, no. No, not my, no, you're so sexy. Goodbye. Not my Paul Helm Knight. <laughs> The most value Full Helm Knight has ever gotten. True. As in anything ever. So. Yeah. Not incorrect. I don't know about that. Brent's uh uh trap with only full helm and killing my frog, that that horrified me. It's a little horrifying. <laughs> drawing me a card drawing him a card. I'm gonna set this I I would call it. Cyclone. Uh yep. What's and your target? Cyclone. Okay. My destiny. Stand by main. I kind of figured we were waiting until there's like a double cyclone around. Oh. Ooh. Okay. That's a oh, no. oh, yes, no. it is. Oh, no. I mean, you have to use drill synchron. <laughs> it's yeah. required. I'll Drawing take director. 12. Uh, second main. Yep. Do it like this. Now, this. Now, this is Strike Ninja. Go ahead. It's a little Strike it's... Ninja. Not chainable, so it's still not strike ninja. Shut up, <laughs> white boy. <laughs> we are gonna summon Krevins. Sure. I have to try to like kill you on just the like outrage drill warrior dot mpeg. Sure. Mm. I don't um, know if you're gonna do that. Well, you know, I don't really think I'm gonna be doing that either. But twelve hundred. Yeah. yeah. Main two, we will set this and probably set this. Go ahead. Stand by. I've seen both of the double cyclones. There's probably a third one. Yep. What do <laughs> you get back? Uh, drill synchron. Yeah. He's making another one. I am. That's <laughs> cracked. <laughs> kind of. He's making a nine. There's another card I, was, I uh, thought he was going to get. Hmm. This is a hard one. Uh, I'm going to normal. Echelon. Yep. This is like the sanguine of progression right now. I see this card. Yeah, and this, like, guy's this guy's great. God damn it. Uh, I'm Echelon's thinking about this great. actually. He kind of is. We we were talking about a uh, fucking. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna. Know oh, I never, I never knew Echelon couldn't get back. Uh, Only five hundred gonna... or less. Yeah. It's I'm gonna go bad. to combat. Uh, warrior into the set card. This is Palomero, and I'm probably going to pay the 500 for the other Palomero. Sure. Whoa. What? Uh, it it works. It works. Yeah. It, okay. Okay. Right. I mean, he's right, a right, saber. Right, right, right. So yeah. Yeah. I thought like another <laughs> meant like it had to be like another one on board, but uh, we'll go echelon into Krevins. I'll pay the eight. Second main, uh, we'll go for See Fishborg. Ya. Oh. Okay. Could be anything. Interesting. Uh, could be anything. Uh, yeah, it could, could be anything. Could, could be anything. Yeah, crazy. Right. Hmm. So we have Drill Warrior on the field, you're, you're telling me. Yeah. Yeah. This go is your it. one chance. Yeah. This is one <laughs> shot. Like, this you is go it. for it. This is my one shot. All right. Uh, you take well, it. Keeping in mind that it could be anything, we're going to attack into Drill Warrior with Krevins. Hmm, crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna depth charge here. Okay. I'm gonna pop targeting. Krevins. Yep. What do you do? Like you just like can't play around that. It's crazy. I God, mean, I, I forced him. I forced him to depth charge a Krevins attacking into a target. True. Like, yeah, I don't think it's you bad. know. I, yeah, I think it's kind of fine for me, honestly. <laughs> yeah, uh, but... We'll set this. Go ahead. Popping Krebins always feels good. Stand no, anytime name. your opponent gets to pop Krebins, there, it, it always feels like, okay, I got that out of the way. Phew. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm done <laughs> yeah, with I'm that, good. at least, you know? Is this the week I ban Krebins, Leah? You tell me. Kind of. Uh, I, I was assuming you'd be banning Solemn Warning, but... That's the joke. Honestly, <laughs> you're, you're into making based bans, Dan. 
So uh, we'll no. go. Warrior. Solemn Warning is a based band. That's the problem. <laughs> Warrior in very much a based band. This one. Yeah. This is Pashul. Okay. Uh, this is a little oh, sussy. Man. I'm gonna crevice Earth. Whoa. Okay. Whoop. Banishing my Palermo and my yeah. Falchal. That's yeah, actually that really yep. good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Very good. Really, really, really wow. good. Uh, yeah. Second main, we're going to get this motherfucker out of here. Yep. Okay. Uh, get discarded. See ya. <laughs> the water deck does end up having a Go. bunch of, like, idiots in your hand. And you're like, this is so awful. <laughs> Not ideal, no. All right. Here is Kicker. Here is Solemn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. what am I supposed to do about that? What are you uh, it's solemn, to do? solemn. It's solemn. Mm. Well, at least we can only use one. Go ahead. Stand by. We'll get the boy back. Yep. I'm gonna grab. What do we bring back? Oh man, this shit's so yep. good. Please it's make a so second crazy. one. It's just a the style I, I, on me. I was testing with Joe, and I was like, I lost every game. There was I was kind of surprised I won or I got very close. Oh wait, this doesn't uh, do what I want. Hold up, <laughs> this uh, doesn't do what I want. <laughs> I thought that a drill synchron would draw me a card. Uh, it doesn't. You, I have to attack oh. defense position monster. Um, I feel like I, think I, I think had yeah, to yeah. go for the. I think I had to go for the kicker there and just hope. Like... I think I still do it because you could have you could pashul. So I'll go a Um. Because if you have the, uh, on, the summon a two. A, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll take Oshelian. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, and then big surprise, Warrior. Okay. Uh, during damage step, I'll battle tuned him. Yeah, that's a good idea, <laughs> I think. Uh, so this can <laughs> yeah, only target game, a monster you game. control. Fuck me. That was a, that was a silly one. <laughs> yeah. That was a that silly was a good one. one. You know, that was a, oh, I, I have to hand it to you, Joe. I have to hand it to you. Your pulls were great, but this deck is really good. My and... drill was the drill that pierced the heavens. <laughs> drill right. warrior, insane. insane. Joe, you, I believe in the. Uh, you got to believe in the me that believes in you, Joe. You, you know, know, here's here's what and I got to say. And you did, and you did. At the end of the day, I think that I'm invincible, like Mister Invincible. Uh, well, well, well. Looks like the dumbest motherfucker makes it through again. I'd like to thank Crevice to a different dimension, which was definitely the difference maker and not Solemn Warning. Uh, literally, don't please don't ban this card. Uh, it had nothing to do with my victory. Um, you know. Yeah, I mean, talk about your deck, man. It actually is pretty sweet. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, liked it. It I literally sucks liked it because it is fun. I liked it so much, I copied it. Like yeah. I literally copied it. No, you're no. This deck is great. No, no I, we brewed I, it up. Uh, the uh, the plan is um, uh, Ashelion's a three, Undyne's a three. Uh, there's a lot of ways to get Drill Synchron online with guys that your opponent doesn't oh want to attack God, into. Oh my God, Oyster Meister's a three. Uh, Wait, yeah, this Oyster Meister's a, th Oyster Meister's yeah. a three. Shit. But if you draw into, sucks. but if you draw <laughs> into Quick Draw Synchron, you can use the token make to Naga. make a. Oh man! Like you can make oh, the token great. into a uh, into a Drill Warrior. You know, you want three Medusa though. Wow, that's that's kind of aggro though. Yeah, well, I feel like I feel like I do probably have to close out games at some point. And there Medusa was never a, over... there was never a time when I was like, I wish this Medusa was something else. I was always like, oh, thank yeah. God, I have a Medusa. Often I was Medu like, I wish this Viper or this Naga was something else. Never Medusa. Yeah, Viper's weird. Medusa over Kicker because you can get it off of Gardner, I guess. Makes sense. Gavin, it sounded like you had something to say. <laughs> These decks don't win 15% of the games against my deck this week. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I I agree. I, I guess if I I week, guess huh? if I had to say something, uh, I, it would be I Gavin Knox will not lose another game into the finale. Um, but uh, <laughs> unfortunately, we have some uh, moving on. So yes, we have some winners. Uh, we also have some first round losers, and uh, this time it was Danny and Brent who lost. Some, I mean, both of you, just some fucking heartbreakers. Uh, and uh, I think we are going with Danny first because I think he has got a ban in the tank. And let me just remind you that it is my birthday. I am the birthday boy, and you wouldn't, you <laughs> no, wouldn't hurt me. I'm not. just a little guy, baby. Come on. Don't try and don't try and hoodwink me, Mister Streamer, oh, Mister YouTuber. You know what's going in the dumpster. Widespread. I'm dug. banning. Solemn warning. I lost 1,000% to this card. Uh, I know it's only here for one week, 
but oh my god, is it the most oppressive card ever in limited? Okay. This is why I don't like progression playoffs because we get really cool, fun cards like Solemn Warning and they get banned the first week. I think Joseph oh, yeah. should be rewarded for pulling a card this cool and utilizing it in real such an interesting way. Maybe we I think should, I would maybe say. Maybe we should make it so that the winner gets to add any one card from the set to their yeah. deck. I think I'll, that's be adding, yeah. I'll be adding Solemn Judgment to my deck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so not surprising. Um, this card absolutely absolutely won us our game. You were way ahead of me if you uh, didn't have to deal with this bullshit. I used them very poorly the entire series, and it did not matter. Um, however, this card is however. also found in Brent's deck. Brent pulled a copy right, of Brent. Solemn Warning and is an unfortunate uh, casualty to this ban as well. So justify yourself to Brent, Danny. Uh, I tried. Brent, Brent, Brent is too based. And let me ban it. Speaking of Brent, Brent, you're up. What would you like removed from the format forever? It's all right, Danny. I'll be the bigger man. So yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of people were salty this week, and I do have a few target bans in mind. However, those people didn't perform very well this week, so I'll hold off on another week. Got Ooh. it? Okay. So, oh, my God. This is since well, Brent, not, Brent, 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 Brent. I just lost two solid morning. It sounds like you're gonna ban something from my since, deck. <laughs> since I'm not stepping on anyone's toes, I have to step on everyone's toes. So Ooh. I'm gonna ban widespread dud. Oh, let's go! Only, let's go! I only, I only own one copy of this card, and oh, I never really God. found much use for it. Yeah, okay, so that's ban, right. If you have one copy, a hundred percent. When you own one copy, that's definitely yeah. the correct ban. Great So ban. we saw it this time, um, but now the double cyclone is not only uh, you know available, but in everyone's deck. Dud has become both this huge liability and potentially like the most broken removal spell in the history of time. Uh, so it was cool to see the neat little interaction with it and double cyclone once. Uh, yeah, this is this is a pretty good ban. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's based. Yeah, it's, it's a great ban. Wow. Makes me wonder if Cyclone will be good next week or not. I feel like we saw enough times where it was good enough oh, just yeah. to have quick play MST that I, was like well, more versatile than Fairy Wind. But yeah. think about it this way: you know, Cyclone gets worse the more chainable spells and traps are, right? That and is true. If people yeah. pivot to decks like mine that are on like Crevice, Aegis, Fish Depth Charge, Cyclone gets a lot worse because realistically, what are you popping that they can't just plus off of? Um, yep. But if people uh, go back to, like, reactive stuff, um, eh, it, it's actually super important that you have spell and trap yeah, removal. It's really good versus changing destiny, but it's less yep. good against, yeah. All right. Well, I guess that is it. Uh, what's the next set? What do we have to look forward to next week? Oh, uh, strike. Blast. Oh, my God. Wait, really? We're at st How many yes. more sets are there in 5Ds? Only, Only like, like three. Two, three Holy yeah. shit. Well, what's in Star Strike Blast? The coolest archetype that I really want to pull, Katakuris. Yeah. Katakuri merchants, ninjas, never play shoguns, soldier, spider, strategist. They have the most bonkers spells and traps. They're sweet cards. They have this cool game plan. Oh, and, you know, Droll and Lockbird and Glow Up Bulb, you know, whatever. Swift Scarecrow, yeah. You know, among the player <laughs> yeah, base, there was constantly a meme that if there was ever a card that was unplayable for a decade and then showed back up, there was like a 60% chance it was from exactly Star Strike Blast. This set had the most sleeper hits of, I think, anything ever. Uh, and uh, we'll see if they uh, remain slumbering when we pull them, or if I'm going to be jamming Droll and Lockbird from day one. And we this, get set also, this set also has an anarchist in it. Anarchist uh, monk, Ranchim. So look forward to that. What the fuck is an anarchist <laughs> monk? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm what, drawing what they, side they blocker. worship the fucking dead Kennedys? What is an anarchist monk? <laughs> He's an anarchist, dude. What do you want from me? I, I want a better name for my card. All right. Bye. That's it. Bye. <laughs> bye.